when companies who IPO in the London aim, um, when they don't do well, yeah. why, why did they not do well? Um, you, well, I'd say that the, the biggest reason for that is that they missed their numbers and they missed mm. a consistent basis. I mean, one of the issues I'd say with smaller companies going public is I think they have less visibility about their financial results. Um, and I think investors in the UK are used to that on AIM in that AIM is somewhat of a hybrid public private market because we are providing finance where for levels of company, you know, sizes of company in the US where they would be privately funded, where you, you know, if you're privately funded, you can fall flat on your face and not many people know about it. Whereas obviously you're in the full public glare when you go public um, on AIM. And I think the, the biggest problem is always not being able to forecast correctly and budget correctly. And then basically then you've, you've created a false you know, expectation in the market and you will be punished for that. And it takes quite a bit of time, a couple of reporting cycles to regain that kind of trust and, and, and you know, kind of credibility. And that's something that you really have to be careful about because obviously the last thing you want is to be a public company and then your share price to be, pre to be depressed because that is demoralizing for your workforce. It also makes it hard for you to raise follow-on capital because you won't like the levels of which, you know, you're able to, the valuations at which you're able to do that. But, at the, you know, at the end of the day, that should be something that's within your control. And so you should only be going public if you feel that you have enough certainty about your, your outcomes. Obviously, there are some things you can't do anything about, but I think there needs to be at least, you know, some level of certainty about, the, the ballpark in terms of how you're going to do from a financial perspective, because that's the last thing you want to do is disappoint the market.